Hello YouTube. I've been noticing on one of my videos called how to um, Steam Workshop for Skyrim and how to download. So here's a quick. It's a. This is gonna go in more detail on how you download the mod. So as you all know, you just click on Community. <clears throat> Wait for Community to load. I'm already on a mod. Yay! I'm already on a mod. Um, let's go find a new mod real quick. Just a small one. Um, I don't know. Let's, you know what? Let's get follower map markers. Let's do that. All right. So you click subscribe and it says the item has been added to your subscriptions and will download the next time you launch the game. So then you go over to your library, click on the Elder Scrolls, click play, wait for this thing to launch it. <clears throat> Okay, and as you see when you do the launcher, it says checking mods, and then it'll say mod 2 of whatever number you have, and it'll start checking to see if they're up to date, and if they're not up to date, they'll download them. And if you look here, you can see every single mod I have. Yes! And then once those mods are downloaded, you want to go into data files to make sure the mod is checked. Having it checked is turning it on and off. So, like if I wanted... Killer Crow's skimpy armor pack on. I'd do that and it'd be on. But I don't, so I have it on like that. And that's more detail on how you do the mod. And you just launch it and see if there. Go find your mod and have a party with it. And some of the things you'll find on the workshop aren't actually fully mods that are ready to be in, in the game. It's just a little page describing the mod and they're going to work on the mod later and upload it later. So. Thank you for watching my video. I'm going to plan to have more videos out this week. See y'all later. Peace.